Hey football fans, I'm back! And I had a 3-1 record um, just last week. I picked against the Colts again, and they proved me wrong. But I did want them to win, but I definitely did not uh, really see how they had a chance against Denver. But anyways, 3-1 once again, so that puts me at 6-2 uh, my playoff records as far as just straight-up pick go without the point spreads or totals or anything. Just straight-up pick -ems. Now we come down to two games. We've got the NFC Championship, and then we got the AFC Championship game. Let's get down to the picks. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to get into a little um, more detailed conversation with you guys uh, uh, regarding the Packers and the Seattle game. So um, let's just throw out my AFC pick. Now, since I really don't care about the AFC, um, because I, more importantly, I mean, why should I? I'm an NFC guy. My team's from the NFC. That's probably the bigger game in my opinion, but they're both big games because um, we're going to find out who plays in the Super Bowl after this. But um, AFC matchup, we got Indianapolis at the New England Patriots. Um, big game. Um, Indianapolis, man, they've had a really, really uh, great stretch of football this late December. Um, that's not including the Dallas game. But, um, man, they've looked really strong on defense. Um, Andrew Luck had surpassed just Manning last week. And, you know, everybody knows me about my Manning rant. I mean, Manning is just down the tubes. I don't think he's ever going to win a Super Bowl again as long as he plays. And now um, <clears throat> Colts owner uh, Jim Mersey looks like a genius. I mean, your, your draft pick that you, you decided to get instead of having Manning come back just beat Manning on his other team, which could be a sign of things to come. But anyways, let's get to the picks here. I like... The New England Patriots, I I would love for Indy to prove me wrong once again, which, hey, could happen. But again, New England, I mean, I was kind of wondering why I picked New England last week because Baltimore did look like the hottest team coming in um, to the playoffs, but I figured that there was no way New England was going to lose that game, and it obviously shows how they came back and, and won the game by, what, four, four points, I think it was. Um, and Flacco, I mean, it was so ridiculous. I couldn't believe he threw that ball. And with so much time left, you know, chugging it deep. So it is what it is. But I'm going to roll again here with New England. And here's why. Because obviously, Peyton, uh, Peyton Manning. <laughs> Tom Brady. I mean, his record at home. Um, Belichick, the way they can prepare against teams. And, you know, it's the first time Luck's been in this position. Uh... You know, one game away from the Super Bowl, that's kind of a big deal. Really big deal. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping Indy can step up. I hope that Indy can stop something that's going to be uh, maybe too big of a matchup for uh, Indianapolis. Just the Patriots, in my opinion, they know how to get it done. They've been here so many times before. This is what they prepare for. And I'm just going to go with the safe pick and pick the New England Patriots to win straight up. Betting-wise, I don't know. I would actually take a shot with Indy on the on the point spread, plus seven. Um, that seems like they could keep it close still, just like how last week was. Uh, New England was didn't didn't uh, recover uh, or didn't cover the spread, so I would I would kind of roll and take a gamble with the Colts. But as far as the winning team, I'm gonna go with New England here. All right. NFC Championship, my Green Bay Packers at the Seattle Seahawks. Now, I know everybody's on the Seattle pick. Everybody loves to pick Seattle. Can't blame them, you know. Hey, we got a gimpy quarterback. They beat us week one. Uh, what's the other excuse? Oh, Legion of Boom, hottest defense in the league. Blah, 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 blah. Almost no one's giving the Packers a chance. I mean, they do have a chance, but pretty much it's slim to none. You know, that kind of thing. That's the, that's the feeling that I've been getting from watching ESPN, NFL Network. Um, but hey, I've been, I've been watching the Packers talk, too. They're just as confident as Seattle, and Seattle knows that the bad man that is Aaron Rodgers is on the other side of that football and offense. And if he's taking snaps, you know, hey... We do have a fighting chance. Now, quick things I want to note. Um, week one, that week one matchup. First, uh, first off, that was the first game of the year, and 
And Seattle had just won their very first Super Bowl. And that place was ecstatic. It really was. I mean, it was almost like it was obvious that the Green Bay Packers were going to lose. I mean, we didn't really have our starting center ready. He was going in hurt. We put in, like, I think, uh, Corey Lindsley, who's not even a center. Um, but he filled in nicely. He actually played pretty well. But, um, I mean, as far as the blitz packages went, he didn't pick them up that very well. Um, Seattle was able to run over 200 yards on our defense. Not good. Um, and Seattle kind of ran away with the game in the, in the second half. I know we played well with them in the first half very well. Um, but yeah, it was just, it wasn't enough. And, uh, we could not get a run game, which was even worse. I mean, we had rookie of the year, Eddie Lacy starting for us and Seattle just shut us down, shut us down nasty. So it's obvious, <laughs> it's obvious what we need to do to, to win this game. We got to go in there. Packers have to go in there and establish a run game and stop the run. If you do that, you win. I think that's that's the that's a, the key ingredient. I heard it might might even rain a little bit, which is even inviting the run to happen. This is going to be a ground and pound game. Now, uh, time of possession killed us in that week one game. So yeah, it's it's obvious we have to run, we have to move the chains and and kill that clock, and get as many points as we can. That's another thing too. I, I don't think we're. Uh, if I was in Mike McCarthy's shoes, I would not be in a position to uh, wanting to go for it on fourth and two. It's a little dangerous uh, as far as this team is concerned, in my book. Uh, you know, if we do become one-dimensional and can't establish a run and Rodgers is having to rely on passing on those types of thirds and fourth downs, if that comes to happen, uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be another long day for Green Bay. So, that is a key thing. That has to happen. I think you guys know who I want to win in this game. Uh, Green Bay, I got to go with my Packers. I'm sorry, Seattle fans. I know you're not surprised, but <laughs> um, I think we have a good chance. I really do. I think this is a completely different team. I mean, for both, both of these teams are completely different. They've come alive in December, and Green Bay's defense is a lot better, in my opinion. That's for one. I mean... We did let DeMarco Murray run for a buck 23, but hey, we got turnovers when we needed them, and we got the balls to bounce our way when they had to, and now we have to win one game away from Lambeau to be sitting in Arizona at the Super Bowl two weeks from now, or three weeks, whenever it is. So, <clears throat> it's gonna be interesting gonna be really interesting I it's 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 basically week one but 17 18 weeks 20 weeks later down the road where now this means everything this is the game that Packer fans sh should have been hyped for I mean I think it was obvious I think after that Seattle week one out uh, Seattle and Green Bay game it was obvious that this was probably gonna happen again and it has. And week one should should be in the back of everybody's minds as far as Packer fans. Seattle, I mean, obviously, they know what they did to us. <clears throat> and they just, they expect to, the same thing to happen again. And I don't. I really don't. I really think that this team can show up even with a gimpy quarterback with Aaron Rodgers back there. And our running attack is a lot better and more functional. It's, it's looking good. I like our chances. I'm not saying we're gonna blow them out. I'm not saying we're going to necessarily win the game, but I do like our chances. I really, really like our chances. Take that, Skip Bayless. Oh yeah, and another thing. Totally left this out of the equation. You guys don't have Percy Harvin anymore. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You got rid of Percy Harvin. Makes our defensive job a little bit more easier. Um, if you guys remember, Percy Harvin gave us fits like crazy in that game. We cannot stop that guy if the ba that ball was in his hands. Um, that's another factor going into this game also. So, 
Just keep in mind, I, I mean, I'm not really uh, uh, aware of the uh, Seattle playmakers on the wide receiver end, uh, but I know they have some guys there that can do make some plays, but they, they aren't Percy Harvin, which was a huge, huge, huge playmaker for them on that offense, which really made them go, in my opinion. My opinion. So, it's going to be interesting how we match up uh, our defense on their offense at this time around and see how we can get pressure on Russell Wilson, which is much needed, and especially keeping that guy contained in the pocket. I think Packers got to make that guy pocket passer and hope that uh, he throws some, some risky throws. Hey, we turned the ball over. We You've seen it. We did it to DeMarco Murray. Wide open hole? No. I'm Julius Peppers. I'm going to strip the ball from your hand. It happens. This defense is made to cause turnovers due to the fact that uh, our defense plays it the way that they play. If we keep Russell Wilson contained and make him throw the ball, I guarantee you he will throw at least one interception in this game. But you got to keep that guy contained. And you know how deadly he is when he's outside that pocket. He's basically Rodgers 2.0. He is just as, just as lethal outside the pocket than any quarterback that I can name other than Rodgers. So, hopefully, we're in for a good matchup. Seattle fans, I wish you luck. I'm not going to sit here and banter and, and say, fuck Seattle, fuck this, fuck, that's just not my stuff. just isn't. I'm a football fan. I like to congratulate and shake the hands in the virtual world <laughs> of my opponent and enjoy all football has to offer. So, in that regards, good luck, Seattle, and go Pack Go. All right, so that's it. Green Bay Packers first game, just taking them. I'm gonna take them on the good spread in two. 7.5, that's the spread. Seven and a half points. Fuck it. <laughs> and the Patriots, the New England Patriots. I hope the Colts win, but those are my two picks. Packers, Patriots. So guys, this is it, this is Without a doubt, been a great season, and we are getting close to uh, closer and closer to the, the big, big game, the soup or bowl game. And hopefully, by that time, uh, I will have a, uh, a video uh, for that, the pre video, and then uh, my thoughts after the Super Bowl. You know what? My Super Bowl, uh, my afterthoughts on the, on the last Super Bowl got a lot of hits. So uh, I was kind of intrigued by that. Um, got to do another one. So. With that do, uh, said and done, I wish you guys luck. I wish you have a good day and a good weekend full of football, which is happening all on Sunday. And I hope all of you guys watching this video are rooting for the Packers. Go Pack Go, and see you in about a week. Oh, and lastly, I almost forgot this, my shout-outs. Uh, I just want to give a shout-out to a cool kid, Steven, uh, a Mr. AKA uh, King Steven. <laughs> and Geo knows and if I go down and call in pork chop those guys have been my uh, my commenters on my videos hey what can I say I, can, I enjoy them so anyways also uh, so I'm looking right here Philly boy from Texas anyways you guys have been great just a shout out for you guys for just keeping in tabs with me all year commenting on my videos really appreciate it and I uh, love the football talk between you guys anyways have a great week see you guys later